Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn king Peace on earth and mercy mild Joyful for ye nations rise Oh dear. Dear Aunt Lucy, Yesterday, Judy and Jonathan and I decided to go around singing carols to collect money for the children's Christmas party at the hospital. This is terrible. All I've collected is this. Perhaps I should join forces with you again. No! <sighs> what we mean is your luck is bound to improve, Paddington. We can visit more houses and collect more money if we go separately. Then I'll try this one. Good luck! And remember to signal with your flashlight if you get into trouble. As if I would get into any trouble. With all the noise, I didn't think the people would hear my singing, so I decided to knock. Thank goodness you've come! Oh, the hell! Oh. I was beginning to get quite worried. Mrs. Smith Chumley. I'm Paddington Brown. Have you done much waiting? Oh, no. I've only just got here. I mean, have you had any previous experience waiting? Well, I had to wait for the bus the other day. These pens are disgraceful. Where are we supposed to chop my vegetables? <laughs> I suppose you'll have to do. Come along. Here's your ten pounds. Ten pounds? Thank you very much. Mrs. Smith Chumley had been so generous, I decided to sing extra loudly for her. <coughs> Hark the herald angels sing, glory to... Stop! Please, in here. Aha! Ah! You have arrived at last. Off with your coat, and out with your arms. Quick, quick, get cracking with your malagatonis. My what? Malagatoni soup. What a delightful idea, having a bear for a waiter. Yes, it makes a nice change, doesn't it? The chef, Vladimir, was the strangest man. Quick, quick. But he didn't seem the kind of person you could argue with. Here, let us help you. Thank you. It's a bit difficult with paws. Speaking of paws, you've got one of yours in my soup. Oh, that's all right. It isn't very hot. Huh? Waiter, what is this fly doing in my soup? Are you sure it's a fly? It looks more like some of my fur. This has never, never happened to I, Vladimir, before. I shall bring you another bowl of soup, madam. It's all right, Vladimir. She can have mine. Do please begin. Phew. No, no more! I, Vladimir, who have cooked for the crown heads of Europe, I, Vladimir, am reduced to this, waiting, waiting! All the time I am kept waiting! My soup, it is cold. My beautiful steak, it is ruined! It is up to you now. In the saucepans you will find the vegetables. You may serve everything as you see fit. I, Vladimir, no longer care. Good night. I wanted to do my best for Mrs. Smith Chumley. After all, she'd given me ten pounds. What? <laughs> <laughs> There's baked Alaska for dessert. I want it to be a special surprise for my guests. If there's anything wrong with it, I shall insist on getting my money back. 
I couldn't lose the money for the children's Christmas party. Vladimir hadn't told me where the dessert was, and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I couldn't find the recipe either. Aha! I couldn't imagine why Mrs. Smith Chumley wanted to surprise her guests with this dish, but it was her party. And gentlemen, dessert is served. Ta -da! Ah. 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 What is that? Baked elastic, just as you ordered. Baked elastic. This seemed to me to be a good time oh. to signal for help. It can't. I think I'll pass. Baked elastic. What a funny bear. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, uh, do you actually mean you baked elastic bands? He didn't realise it was baked Alaska, and that's when he signalled to us with his flashlight. Luckily, I've helped Mrs. Bird make baked Alaska lots of times. But not with marmalade. Hmm. Baked Alaska with marmalade. I don't suppose we've got any spare ice cream on hand or marmalade. Mrs. Smith Chumley liked our baked Alaska a la marmalade so much, she gave me an extra five pounds for the children's Christmas party. You might want to try the recipe. So, first, you take one large pot of marmalade. <laughs> Funny how all of Paddington's recipes start the same way. <laughs> <laughs>